look at me, give a mean look. <laughs> Today is June the 30th, 1999. Yes, it is. Here, you want to see him with food? Here, sit down. Here, sit down. You're fine. I'll hold you. Get your picture without the drink in your mouth. Well, of course she's. I was thin then too. I thought, you that woman there. She's got the prettiest hair. Chris on her back was too me Like I flopped out when she turned around, and I said that was her. You know, whenever I got that permanent one in your words. Oh, them women just had a. <laughs> what? Yeah. Mom? Mom's right there. Hey, Judy, look this way. There's Mom. <laughs> Jane, look this way.
to the other. I have it laying on the desk, and she's a little. I would little have, but I didn't it. Hold it. It's 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 hold it. 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 Hold it.
that worship. Yeah, bring her that. She might be blown away at home. We just got to figure out where we're going to be. Get the jet motor. That's what I'm saying. 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 That's what I'
that you think the rest of the group would be interested in knowing about. Something good's happened to you yes, in two I, years. I've got a great friend over here today. <laughs> Somewhere in the group. <laughs> well, two years ago you had the youngest one. I believe you still got it. <laughs> and uh, all your children are here. All of them. Yes. Fine. <laughs> she had to call. She lost count. <laughs> this is my mom. Carmen, I'm going to try to take these in order. These are my aunts now, and I'm real proud of them. I'm going to try to give them an order and call them by name. Well, I have my daughter, Juanita, and my granddaughter, Teresa, and my adopted daughter, Mary. <laughs> Great. Carol couldn't make it, I guess. No, so Carol couldn't make it. You know, we enjoyed them so much yeah, two they, years ago. Yeah, they enjoyed being here. Joyce is not here. Hazel, perhaps you have an announcement or comment or two you'd like to make to the group. Skip Helen. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I don't want to talk to you really. <laughs> <laughs> Helen. I really did. Helen. <laughs> I'm going to wear the old man's head. I'll be in though. Helen, you have anything you'd like to say to the group? Well, I got my two daughters here, Shirley and Linda, my granddaughter, and my great great grandson. Where's he at? Great great. Right there. Right there. there he is. Hey, that's great. <laughs> Hazel. We got Mark and his family. Well, they know. Her family, and we got a great granddaughter somewhere in the other area. All right, one. Lowell? He's here. I'm here. Anything to say? Well, I got my wife's letters. She might not be able to say it. Two daughters. Good. Wonderful. That'll be here, aren't we all? Frank? Oh, I got one shot here. You and Bodine. Hey, we're thankful that you are here. Clyde? Where's old Clyde? Clyde before you got here, what you expect to do and who you expect to see. And I hope that all your expectations will be met as you anticipated that they would be. Perhaps if somebody's not here that you would like to see. I know there's always some missing. But you'll never get this particular group of people here together again in, in our lifetimes. I think I can say that for sure. There'll be some people who can't make it for one reason or another. There'll be some people who will come. It's not here, you know, maybe in 1992. At least I would hope that they would. But I just uh, thank, thank God that all these people are here and they're fairly healthy and we know that we've had some near things happen to some members of the family during the past two years that we were 
really wondering about them. I've really been concerned about some of them, but I'm just so grateful that it's turned out as it has at the present time. So there may be something that somebody wants to say to the group that I don't want to leave you out. You better say it. Got that one mic. You better say it. You better say it. This is sort of a threat, I guess. But any anything you'd like, you would like to make any kind of announcement, like you had an anniversary or you had uh, found a good place to go eat, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you get to the point in life where if you find a good place to eat, you think you've accomplished something. Other things are not as important as they used to be. But nothing at all? My granddaughter's getting married in two weeks. All right, that's a good announcement. Her granddaughter. Getting married in two weeks, she'll be great-grandmother shortly. Probably. Her granddaughter's getting married in two weeks. Anything else? It's going to be a two-year or a year I thought... I don't know. I don't run this. Uh, uh, we settled once before it would be two-year event. If anybody has anything that they want to add or change, that'll be the time to bring it up, I think, while the group's together. <laughs> she said she thinks you ought to go back to annual on this day. Hazel agree. There is a suggestion to rank that some of your brothers and sisters are suggesting that this be an annual affair. Yes. All right, that's three. That's three of the eleven that's already said they agree. Well, I think we should leave it up to the, the eleven, don't you say? The brothers and sisters. Mom, what do you say? I agree. You agree, Carmen? You agree. I agree. You're that next. <laughs> Hazel, you're next. Oh. Frank? That's unanimous. That you carry. At least that's the plurality. So we'll go to an annual meeting on this date. That's the Sunday before the 4th of July. Am I correct? The Sunday? The Sunday before the 4th. So it could vary, you know pretty wide, but that's a good way to remember the day. Sunday before the 4th. And it will probably be held in Wapapilla. We'll make arrangements here chair of the local people for the facility. So that's pretty much got that business out of the way. Is there any other business you need to take up? Be interested to know who came the farthest. Would that be Willis? How about who got up the earliest? Or Frida? <laughs> Bob got up at 4 o'clock this morning. Oh, uh -uh, I got up at 3. <laughs> 3. You had to make all your ravens back, I guess, didn't you? Somebody has to start the car. Somebody has to load it up. <laughs> Remember, enjoy yourself and enjoy the good food. There's plenty of it there. And I sure hope that, that I'm here next year to make these announcements. If no other reason, I just want to be here. And I want everybody else to know that you will be. I'll research your Sargon problem and try to get you some information on that. We have a we have a office in Bloomfield, my county, the county agent. He keeps up on all this stuff. He'll know precisely what you want to buy. I can think of it. He wants to see next year. I told him, Chandler, that he just won't well forget it that the growing season was too short to work. Ben so don't grow, Sarge. So I don't know if it is or not. Dear Papa, uh, this, this is my grandson. He was the youngest one two years ago. At this time, if there are no other announcements, if the are, speak out now. Anything else? Anybody? All right, here we want to announce it right here. I've been a member of this family for how many years? <laughs> I've never met a warmer, nicer, honest, sincere group in life. We're good folks. We're good folks. We got, got roots of good deep right here in southeast Missouri. Appreciate that very much. It's this time, I'm going to ask us. To, to, uh, I usually have to be seated. We wish to stay, and I think that'd be nice if you stay.
understood. I'm going to ask my uncle Chandler if he'll give the invitation for this meeting.
This is Frida's family. Click, 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 click. Paul, come on down with me. Are you having a good time, Frida? I'm going to My lady's white. I love you. Which one are we going to see? Nails. This is Claude's family. Huh? Hold on. Wait a minute. This is Frank's family. Hurry. This is Helen and her family. Christmas time, Cheryl. Um, at birthdays and Christmas and Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day and all kinds of this junk. Every holiday you have to get that stupid camera out. <laughs> but you like it, don't you, Cheryl? I don't like it when I'm on it. No, leave me alone. Look over this way, Paula. She won't do it. So do I. That's why you're supposed to buy your own, and then. Hey, 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 hey,
I caught my putting on a bad example for his kids. What? It's all right, it's nearby. Yeah. Yoo-hoo! Can't eat her cigarette? Yeah. 
Carolyn, you used to smoke. I don't anymore, do I? The worst kind of smokers are the ones that quit. You know, the ring to warm. <laughs> you mean the you worst smoke kind too? of non smokers? Yeah. I thought you quit too, Kathy. She you did. About three months. Well, that's a good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I quit. And she started. <laughs> I don't have a gym on. I don't have a good one of you yet. Just go in the other room where all those handsome men are and take fun Hey, Melissa.
one last assignment. He said, you're standing up there today, and I will grade you on your presentation. <laughs> here I am. We're, we're gathered here together today to honor the 11 offspring of Bird and Daisy Morgan. And, and honor them we should, because these 11 women and men went out and married the most remarkable people in the world. And out of these you out of this union, they had the most outstanding, beautiful, and handsome kids in the world. So, well, we should honor them. Daisy and Bird set out to have 12 children. They wanted an even dozen. But after the 11th was born, little Junior, Bird looked at Daisy and said, I think, I think it's time to stop, Daisy. So, so that's where we are now. As, uh, as with most families, we, we've had our share of triumph, we've had our share of fear. <coughs> well, we all keep going in one way or another, and, and we all keep each other propped up, and that's what makes this gathering such, such an outstanding group of people. So, before we, before we eat, we've got one manner of uh, business I'd like to take care of. We sort of, sort of, a couple of us just sort of appointed ourselves at the committee for the reunion this year, went out, rented this hall, and then I filled every one of you. And I knew to pay because a lot of you know my job is, uh, is uh, my job is a utility company, people don't pay their bills, I cut their electricity off. <laughs> I, I was pretty sure everybody paid their $22. Uh, now, this, this is just for the 11 children. Do you like this? Do you like this setup? Okay. Shall we do it again next year this way? I've talked to a woman the hall. All the price will be the same. We can get this. We can get this hall set up just like it is today for two hundred and fifty dollars. We come out to twenty-two dollars each again next year. If uh, if I hear enough uh, yays, we'll, we'll reserve it. And shall we keep it the Sunday before the fourth next year again? Yay! 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 Any nays? No. Okay, that carries. Okay. Okay, Juanita has updated our family directory. Please see her for a copy. If you have any changes, additions, see her and she'll take care of that. Uh, she does an outstanding job with this. Let's give her a big hand. Any other announcements? Okay, without uh, further ado, uh, I'd like to ask my Uncle Chan to uh, give the blessing on this day's festivities. Uncle Chan.
Okay. I have to get Bernice on here. I want to see your shirt. Okay, very good.
electricity off of it. I, I was pretty sure everybody paid their $22. Uh, now, this, this is just for the 11 children. Do you like this? Do you like this setup? Okay. Shall we do it again next year this way? I've talked to them over the hall. I've talked to them over the hall. The price will be the same. We can get this. We can get this hall set up just like it is today for $250. It would come out to $22 each again next year. If uh, if I hear enough uh, yays, we'll go reserve it. And shall we keep it the Sunday before the fourth next year again? Any days? Okay, that's Gary. Juanita has updated our family directory. Please see her for a copy. If you have any changes, additions, see her and she'll take care of that. Uh, she does an outstanding job with this. Let's give her a big hand for that. Any other announcements? Okay, without uh, further ado, uh, I'd like to ask my Uncle Chan to uh, give the blessing on this day's festivity. Uncle Chan. 